Hey there, I am Rajat from Blinkist Store and welcome to the second video in our Blinkist Store tutorial playlist. In this video, I'll show you how to customize your store. Um, so let us begin. In the last video, I have made, I made a store called the Super Store. And um, for the sake of this series, I am creating a new brand name. I chose Hustle Hard as a brand name and I made a new store for that. If you want to learn how to create your store, please refer to the first video in this playlist that is uh, right above this, which is how to create a store using Blinkist Store. So let us begin. I am already logged into my dashboard and I'll click on edit store here. Um, and this will take me to the store editor uh, experience that we have built. Um, now from the left hand side, you will see a bunch of options that you can go through and see what is there in each one of those. And in those options, you will find a lot of ways through which you can customize the look and feel of your store. So we'll begin from the top. It is um, from here, you can edit how the store title looks. If you upload a logo from here, that logo will appear in place of the store title. Um, and you can upload a fab icon that will appear in the Chrome tabs. So I'm just going to upload the text here, hustle hard. Uh, and now as you scroll down, you have the option to change the theme color of your store. So you have two options. You can either choose from the recommended themes that we have provided, or you can uh, put your own hex code depending on your brand guidelines that you have created. So for now, I'm going ahead with this yellow and black tone. Uh, look very energetic for the brand hustle heart. And I'll click uh, save here. Now moving down on the list, the second option is to customize banner. And here you have two options. You can either upload a banner image, which should be at least 1200 cross 400 pixel, or you can put a text here. You know, you can put a text on the banner, or you can do both. You can also have an image and text on top of it. And, and an additional option here is that you can upload a GIF. So GIF, if you want to give some kind of motion to your store's uh, banner, then upload a GIF here. So I'm going to remove that text. I have a banner image on my laptop, so I will upload that. Uh, click on upload banner I'll choose a banner image that I have and hit save. Now moving down on that list is create uh, and edit a new product. So for now, I'm going to skip that part. We will cover that in the next video where, where I'll give you a longer tutorial on how to use Canva in case you don't know how to use Canva or you are not a designer. Then there are good tools on the internet that you can learn very quickly and uh, use your design chops to create something nice. So let's move on and we'll cover that in the next video. Next is about store and social links. So here you will write a description of your store. This will appear on the footer of your store. Okay. So I'm going to call uh, a store dedicated to all the hustlers out there. And this is my very simple description. Uh, I can also put a store email. So since I have not created a separate email, I'll just be using my own email that my buyers or my customers can use to contact me. My email is rajas at the xyz lab dot in. Um, below are the social links. So if you are building a brand, you will definitely create the social media pages for your brand. So this is where you can put all those. So your, your buyers, your fans, your audience can discover your brand's social media presence on the internet. So for now, I'm going to put uh, my own Instagram link here. Uh, and I'll leave the rest of that as it is, just doing this to give you an idea on where this appears on the footer. So here you can see my Instagram, my email appears here. And I'll hit save. And next up is settings. So from settings, I can link my own domain. So if you own a website, if you own a domain name, then you can go through this option to link a domain. We will cover this in, in a later video on how you can link a domain. Uh, so this is all. This is what you can customize. Uh, now, as we move ahead in this series, we'll be designing and putting a product here. We'll also be putting uh, custom mockups on products. And at the end, we'll show you how to put a domain or link a domain to a store. And once all of that comes in together, then you will realize how, you know, how much control that you get when you're customizing and it is very easy so that is all in this video uh, see you next time bye